In today's video, I'm going to be giving you 13 of the best plugins that you can use for your WordPress dropshipping website. Now, if you're a dropshipper and you've been in the game for a while, or if you're just getting started, then you know that there are a few aspects of the dropshipping business that can be a bit challenging. Sometimes it can be a bit time consuming, and sometimes they're just a bit hard to figure out. But don't you worry, because there's always an app or a plugin that can make certain aspects of the business a lot easier and a lot more streamlined. That's why in this video, I'm going to be giving you our top picks for the 13 best plugins to help you scale your WordPress dropshipping website. Whether you're a newbie or you've been in the game for a while, some of these plugins are bound to give you some advantages. So just make sure to watch the video all the way to the end. Let's go ahead and run that intro and let's get started. What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future dropshipping videos. On this channel, we cover anything and everything dropshipping related, starting from some of the best possible tips and tricks to help you start and scale your dropshipping business to some of the best products for you to offer for maximum profitability. So if that's something that interests you, just make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, dropshipping on a website like WordPress can have its advantages as well as a few disadvantages. Now, some of the advantages to dropshipping on WordPress can include the fact that for one, it's free to use. You can actually sign up for WordPress for completely free. Second, WordPress is fully customizable, meaning you can literally change anything you need or anything you want on the website or on your own website. Third, they have tons of free as well as paid plugins, which we're going to cover in this video. And last but not least, number four, they have a content management system. Now, a content management system is something that is actually pretty helpful because it can help you give control to other users to be able to manage certain content on your website, such as blogs. Now, as for disadvantages, the first thing is you don't have organic traffic, but you don't really have that either on Shopify or Wix. So it's actually pretty easy to get over this. All you have to do is create your own content on something like TikTok, or you can run paid ads on Facebook, or you can go the influencer marketing route. Now, if you want more information on any of these different methods to market your brand or your business, then just check out the cheat sheet. I'm going to have a few different links in there to help you get started. Now, the second disadvantage is it has a bit of a learning curve. So if you're not really techie, then this is something that you're going to have to play around with. So that way you can get used to it. It's not 100% beginner friendly, but with just a little bit of messing around, a couple of tutorials and checking out this YouTube channel, then you can get started using WordPress without a problem. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and start the countdown for the 13 best plugins that you can use for your WordPress dropshipping website. Now, without a doubt, probably one of the best e-commerce platforms that you can use with WordPress is going to be WooCommerce. WooCommerce themselves actually have an extensive list of dropshipping extensions that can help you out in your business. On top of that, they have some easy to use and free themes to help you customize your website, and they have flexible and secure payment options. Honestly, if you're looking to dropship on WordPress, WooCommerce is probably going to be your best option. Now, another awesome thing about using WooCommerce with your WordPress website is the fact that it's easily integratable with AutoDS. So once you integrate WooCommerce with AutoDS, you can enjoy the benefits to automating your entire store. The next plugin on this list is going to be Elementor Website Builder. This plugin provides you with different widgets as well as different tools to help you set up your website in a professional and good looking way. Elementor has over 100 different widgets and has an easy to use drag and drop editor. On top of that, they have over 300 different design templates that you can use that again are easily customizable. And one of the coolest things about it, in my opinion, is the fact that you have live editing. So as you're editing your website on one screen, you can see the changes being made live on the other screen. Next up, we have Royal Elementor add-ons, which is a collection of widgets as well as different add-ons. With this, you get tons of different widgets for your dropshipping store. One widget, for example, is the team member widget, which displays images and information on different team members on a particular page on your website. There's also things like the Google Maps widget, which is pretty self-explanatory, as well as the priceless widget, which is actually pretty interesting because what this does is it helps you display different pricing options in a nice and organized manner. So it's easy for your customers to read. You also have different theme builder and template kits, which again, help you customize the layout of your store. So that way it looks a bit more professional and pre-made widget blocks and extensions, which are pre-made widgets that you can display on your store for your customers to use. Next up at number four, we have an email marketing gold mine. And this is MailChimp. Now, MailChimp is an awesome plugin to have because for one, it helps you automate your emails to your target audience. So you can send targeted messages to a particular demographic based on their behavior and their needs. You also get easy list management. So you can see all of the different people that are in your email list. So you can easily kick out some that are either inactive or just bots. And you get report analytics. So you can see who's opened your emails who's put them to spam and who's just flat out ignored them. MailChimp also helps you with pop-ups. 
So you know those pop-ups that you get as soon as you enter a certain website and it says enter your email for 10% off? More than likely, that's MailChimp. Now that's awesome because that helps you collect more emails so that way you can build your email list so you have more people that you can target for your email marketing. Up next, you have Optin Monster, which is a marketing toolkit for WordPress. Optin Monster helps you A-B test different forms so you can see which type of form works best for your audience. You also get campaign analytics, which helps you target the right demographic for your store. At number six, we have Jetpack, which is a site security tool. Jetpack gives you 24 seven site security with real time backups. So if anything were to ever happen to your store, let's say it were to get hacked and then deleted, Jetpack can help you recover that with its backups. Jetpack also helps you optimize the speed and performance of your website by optimizing it across different platforms and devices such as Androids, iPhones, or PCs. Yoast SEO is up next and what this does is it makes SEO friendly. So pretty much what it does is it makes SEO a lot easier for you to include it in your website so that way you can rank higher on websites such as Google. Yoast SEO is free to use and it also gives you title and meta description optimization so it can help you analyze your titles as well as your meta descriptions. Monster Insights is up next and what this does is it helps give you an in-depth analysis of your WooCommerce store's performance. With this you get quick and easy Google Analytics setup as well as ads tracking. You also get real-time statistics on your website's traffic and your users behavior so you're going to be able to see what the users are doing on your website. You can see what pages they're going to view and where these customers are coming from. At number nine, we have redirection. Now, what redirection is, is something pretty simple. So what it does is it helps redirect customers that go to one page. It helps redirect them to a different one. Next up at number 10, we have WP Forms, helping you make some easy to use and understand forms for your customers to submit data. Now, the awesome thing about WP Forms is the fact that it's super simple for you to set up your own forms. Now, these forms, for the most part, are going to be used by your customers to submit their information or to submit a question that they have. So typically, they're going to be able to put their name, their email, and their question. Now, WPF Forms makes this super easy for for you because it includes an easy to use editor which you can use to just drag and drop different parts of the form so that way you can create one. On top of that, if you're not really good at creating different forms or if you don't really know the layout that it should go, they also have some pre-built templates that you can use. Next up, you have Shop Lentor, which helps you build your product pages on WooCommerce. They have an entire library of custom product pages for you to be able to customize yourself or just import to your store as is. On top of that, it also gives you the ability to build your checkout page so you can customize it to however you see fit. Now, if you're selling internationally, then this next plugin is one that you're going to need. Woo Multi Currency gives your customers the option to change the prices on your website to their currency. So let's say your store is in the US and everything is in dollars, but your customers in the UK, they can go ahead and change the currency to pounds. Now, not only that, but it actually auto detects the country that your customer is visiting from. So it'll automatically change the currency to the appropriate one. And best of all, it has an auto update for exchange rates. So you don't have to worry about converting US dollars to pounds, euros, or whatever else it may be. This app does it all by itself. And last but not least, one of the most important things that you can do on your website is have social Social proof. And in order to help you that, we have customer reviews for WooCommerce. Now, of course, to get this one to work, you are going to have to have WooCommerce installed, but this can really help build trust in your customers. So that way they can make a purchase once they see that a particular item has a five star review, let's say. Now, a few other features that you get with this app are automated email reminders to your customers, quick and easy reviewing of your different reviews that have been submitted to your products pages or to your website. Your customers have the ability to submit enhanced reviews, which include a star rating, images and text, and it easily integrates with Google Shopping. Now, those were the top 13 plugins that you can use for your WordPress store. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to leave a like. Huge thank you to everyone for watching. As always, it means a ton, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS and catch you all in the next video.